Hi friends, vaginal epithelium develops from option A, mesoderm of urogenital sinus, option B, mesoderm of genital ridge, option C, endoderm of urogenital sinus, and option D, endoderm of genital ridge. Before going to the answer, let's have a look into some basic embryological concept behind this question. This is paramesonephric duct. From the paramesonephric duct, most of the female genital tract is formed. Paramesonephric duct on both sides fuses together to form uterovaginal canal. The uterovaginal canal impinges on this urogenital sinus and the endoderm in the urogenital sinus proliferates to form two masses. They are called as sinovaginal bulbs. The sinovaginal bulb fuses together to form the vaginal plate and most of the vagina is developed from this vaginal plate. So most of the vagina is developed from the endodermal cells of urogenital sinus. Here you can see a thick segment above the vaginal plate and that is the hymen. And uh, the least portion of vagina is developed from uterovaginal canal. Major part of the vagina is developed from the vaginal plate. Vaginal plate is in turn developed from the endodermal cells of urogenital sinus. And the minor portion of vagina is developed from uterovaginal canal. It is developed from the mesodermal cells of uterovaginal canal. So, Altogether, the vagina is formed from two cells. One is the endodermal cells of urogenital sinus and the mesodermal cells of uterovaginal canal. But this hymen is lined on both sides by endodermal cells. Let's have a bit more info. Paramesonephric duct is also present in males and in males it gives rise to appendix of testis. Now guys, please tell the answer for this question. That's right. If you understand the concept, give us a thumbs up. Please do comment your valuable feedbacks here and do share this video to all your friends. Make sure that you subscribe this video and click this bell icon so that you will receive the notification at the same time we upload our video. Thank you very much.